n and k are positive integers, is the square root of n plus k greater than 2 times the square root of n? So statement number 1 tells us that k is greater than 3n. So what this would mean is that n plus k would have to be greater than square root of n plus 3n. Well, square root of n plus 3n, that's the square root of 4n. The square root of 4n is 2 times the square root of n. So this statement by itself does tell us that n plus k, square root of n plus k is greater than 2 times the square root of n. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Statement number 2 tells us that n plus k is greater than 3n. Well, that means that the square root of n plus k would be greater than the square root of 3n. And we could write that as the square root of 3 times the square root of n. But here the problem is the square root of 3 is less than 2. So knowing that the square root of 3 Knowing that n plus k is greater than the square root of 3 times n doesn't answer the question, is it greater than 2 times the square root of n? So this opens up an ambiguity. And because of that ambiguity, this statement is insufficient. Now, all this stuff about roots is unfamiliar, and you need practice on this. I'd highly recommend check out magoosh.com. Magoosh.com is an online test prep agency. We prepare people for the GMAT. We have a few hundred videos preparing people for math, also a few hundred videos on the verbal side, including videos that will explain in detail everything you need to know about roots and radicals in order to be successful on the GMAT. So in this question, statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is insufficient. Answer choice A.